When I was in grade 10, my selective mutism hit its peak and I was really experiencing a lot of loneliness and isolation and I wanted to know that I wasn't alone. So I started a YouTube series and a blog and just left my email, but I wasn't expecting very many views. And then a couple years later, people are contacting me every day for advice and just giving me feedback. For me in particular, a lot of people just assume that it was a choice that I wasn't speaking or that I was being rude or defiant, but it's really not a choice. We don't choose to feel this way. It's, it's just something that we have. I've had experiences where people tell me it's always a choice to speak, or I had a doctor tell me that if you don't start speaking, I'll put you on medication that makes you gain weight. They just don't understand what is happening and that it's not a choice that I'm not speaking. I really thought about how I was treated and like none of the professionals knew how to treat selective mutism and we had to end up teaching them and it's a pretty common disorder so I thought if I don't do this then who's gonna do it? When I found out that I won the champion award I was thinking more about the people who have selective mutism because this has been our dream. Like we have no, no one understands what we're going through. So to be recognized at the national level for selective mutism and have that awareness out there is just incredible for the whole community. One in five people are affected by some form of mental illness. If you look around, it affects everybody every single day, whether it's it affects you personally or whether it affects a family member or a friend. So it's really important to know what's happening and be educated about what's going on so there isn't any misunderstanding or so that they just feel understood and supported.